Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil. You've now clicked on the Weather Now link, and let's jump right into it. So we do still have some river flood warnings in effect across the area as uh, rivers in the highlighted areas in red, including the Patuxet, Pawkatuck, Wood River, and Taunton River, are still in or around flood stage. The Patuxet has now dropped from major flood to moderate, I believe, at this hour. Uh, and with a dry day on Monday, those river levels will continue to decrease, but these still are in place until further notice. There also is a wind advisory that will expire in about an hour at 7 o'clock with winds uh, which were gustier this afternoon starting to diminish uh, back down to cal much calmer levels overnight tonight into Monday. And with your temperatures across the area right now, still uh, in the upper 30s in Providence. It ended up being a nice afternoon with sunshine, even though it was a little bit colder today, certainly compared to what we had yesterday with very mild temperatures. But those temperatures are going to continue to drop into the low 20s overnight tonight, leading to a very cold start to your work week. Or, I'm sorry, tomorrow's a holiday. <laughs> but if you do have any plans tomorrow, uh, it's going to be a cold one if you're stepping out early, especially in the low 20s. Those wind chills, though, already in the 20s and low 30s across the area. And again, as those temperatures continue to drop, those wind chills with continued gusty conditions overnight uh, it'd be pretty cold out there if you're heading out the door later. Uh, satellite and radar here. We had a cold front pass through. This is leading towards these much colder temperatures that we're seeing over the next several days here. We we're seeing some uh, brief snow showers moving through earlier this afternoon, but things drying out as we head towards the overnight. But with some wet road conditions from the rain and snow showers we saw this afternoon, we are keeping a close eye on possible icy conditions overnight tonight due to those showers. You can see as this cold front's moving offshore here, the shower's diminishing, but the major change now is those temperatures continuing to drop. And let's take a look at kind of the changes we have in place over the next couple days. So we're going to be staying mainly clear overnight despite uh, kind of the model showing some cloud cover here, and that'll contribute to the lower temperatures to start your day on Monday with very cold temperatures in the low 20s still. We will start to warm up with some sunshine in the morning, but not getting much higher than the low 30s uh, for your Martin Luther King Day here. So it's going to stay cold throughout the, day, throughout the day, and clouds will start to increase as we head towards the evening on Monday and overnight, as we're expecting some more snow in the forecast for Tuesday. But so far, guidance has suggested that snowfall totals across the area shouldn't uh, reach higher than 3, maybe 4 inches maximum. Um, so looking at minor accumulations as a result of this with kind of light to moderate snow showers expected throughout the day on Tuesday. Your forecast for tonight, again, looking at those overnight lows right around 20 degrees with some gusty winds. But those gusts will start to diminish, especially as we head towards Monday morning. But the cold temperatures sticking around. Start to your Monday here, we're going to be seeing those temperatures very cold in the low 20s. Uh, hopefully you don't have to step out that early if you have the day off for the holiday. And we will warm up with sunshine in the morning to around 30 degrees, but then as clouds increase, not looking to get a lot colder than around 31, 32 degrees for your afternoon highs here. And those clouds will start to increase, especially towards the evening and overnight hours as we prepare for that early morning snow to start coming through on Tuesday. But again, snow on Tuesday, not looking majorly impactful. Could lead to some messy roads at times or slick conditions, uh, but more minor accumulations in the forecast as of what we're tracking right now with the highest accumulations looking to be around that three to four inch mark uh, in northwestern Rhode Island kind of the same area we saw those higher accumulations with the last snowstorm so keep checking back in with us as we'll have updates on that system coming through in the next couple days and in the meantime you can always get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com